and on our CBS 42 News app. Well, tonight, an historic building in downtown Birmingham that's been vacant for several years is now set to be redeveloped. CBS 42's Corey McGinnis got an inside look at the historic Masonic Temple today. He's live in Birmingham with more, Corey. Yeah, Jack, good evening. Well, the expectations are high, and the residents and visitors here, they're actually expected to uh, breathe air into this historic building here behind me. I got the chance to take a tour inside, but I also spoke with a developer who tells me that renderings of the building are on the way. Remnants of times past scattered throughout. The erection of this building began in 1922, and it was completed in 1924. While Corey Hawkins, Grandmaster of Mason, shows us dental instruments left behind in an office on the fifth floor that are still out. This building has played a major role. And old doors still bear the names of doctors who once had offices in the colored Masonic temple. A building that was almost 100 years old. A building that played a key role in the everyday lives of African-American residents around the 4th Avenue district. A place uh, where merchants can... Uh, have their businesses. Once completed, it was used as more than a meeting place for Masons. It was the center of Birmingham's African American community. Old telephones, old TVs, and signs still hang around the building that read, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And I think it'll bring more people in. A building that still has this directory with a list of production companies and producer names, just to name a few. A building that was developed by Grandmaster Walter Woods, who's made it a beacon of black businesses from segregation. <laughs> This room is, is the bragging point of this building. That will soon get a facelift and a renovation. Small museum in here with some artifacts from it. A place where you can soon have functions in this grand ballroom that the developer, Irvin Henderson, says is coming soon. We're going to be working on a lot of pre-development aspects of doing this particular building over the next few weeks. Paul Hawkins says the temple building would allow younger generations to learn about the history of the Masons and their influence in the Magic City. And that developer, he tells me that he will uh, address the media and he plans to update us in about three weeks. The Masons do have a GoFundMe account. If you would like to donate, I will have that information on our website at CBS42.com. We're live in Birmingham tonight. Corey McGinnis, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you.